Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're going to take a detailed look at the LEGO Ideas A-Frame Cabin. Comes with 2,082 pieces, retails for 180 US dollars. Uh, comes with four minifigures, a bunch of animals, and all of the pieces are print. That's right, there's no sticker elements in this set, which is a huge bonus. I think it's a great value. It's got some really good part usage, some fantastic colors, and I'm really excited about this set. It is... One of the best sets of 2023, but it's only February, right? <laughs> All right, let's take a detailed look at the A-Frame Cabin. The four minifigures that come with this set really do a good job of matching the theme. Sort of an outdoor feeling. I really like the two torsos here on the left side. And the images on the back of the box actually suggest that these minifigures can sort of be remixed to create new figures because their pieces are interchangeable. I really like this one here. It's a gentleman in a canoe with the top knot. All four headpieces come with alternate faces as well. I love the building style of this set. It is phenomenal. It went together pretty quickly because it's all plate and tile and brick. It was a fast build, but very enjoyable. Like some of the most enjoyable builds are like this. Modular buildings, Lego idea sets, anything with like a building theme, I really enjoy. The front steps here lead up to the porch, and on the porch we have a nice railing built with some bar elements and clips. There is a bench right here with a lantern and a cup of coffee, a little Bunsen burner that's currently frying an egg, and then a rocking chair. I will say that the rocking chair is really cool. It uses these whip elements, but it's pretty tight. How is a minifigure supposed to access that rocking chair with the railing so close to it? The building technique underneath the porch to represent the bricks is absolutely phenomenal. That's Thor's hammer right there. There's 18 of them in this set. Some nice detail on either side of the steps there. We've got a squirrel, a bucket and some mushrooms, and actually below this step, there's a frog. The steps are just held in by two clips, so they're very easy to remove. However, once the Thor hammers are in there, they're in there pretty good. But hey, why not destroy my model so you can see the awesome building techniques underneath. They're held in place by one by one snot bricks and then staggered with studs. The base construction of this set is very solid and it's bricks and plates, which of course can be adapted to other bricks and plates. So it'll be very easy to convert this set to mills. And when you start building this set, you put a red, white, and green tile next to each other. That's actually a reference to the designer, and it's an Italian flag. The front of the A-frame looks absolutely amazing. We've got the tiles and jumpers mounted at different depths, giving it a nice texture, dark green windows and door frames, some printed pieces above said windows and door frames, another printed butterfly there, and also a birdhouse. On the left-hand side of the cabin, we've got a brilliant tree here with some awesome autumn colors, the dark red, red and orange looks absolutely fabulous. And that's actually over top of a wood cache. The wood cache is built using masonry bricks, one by four slopes, an awesome angled roof, and it has logs of various sizes within. There's also a barrel out front with an ax and a poker stick, and then a beautiful printed butterfly on the trunk of that tree. I love these trees, they are awesome. The technic parts used to build them is amazing. I think it, they do a really good job of representing a realistic size tree with a proper trunk diameter. And I love the part usage. I'm definitely gonna have to order some parts to build some trees like this as we move forward. On top of the tree, there is a bluebird as well. And as you can see there, that is its own little module that can be removed from the side of the building. And there's a second tree module on the back side of the building that can be removed as well. This one being the larger of the two module has two trees. The first one is yellow and dark orange and has some gold leaves. This one has sand green, olive and dark green and has a red bird perched on top. On the trunks we have a butterfly and also a lantern. On the base we've got a canoe which is actually being stored in a pretty clever way. It's just sitting there. Joey and Chandler's canoe, there you go. And we also got some life jackets in this crate. All sorts of nice landscaping detail here right by this otter. With some mushrooms, a makeshift creek, and some rock work, and all sorts of flora. I do like this, but it is a bit scattered, and it's going to be rather difficult to work into my campground, specifically because of this water and just the randomness of this rock work. The interesting thing about the tree modules is once they're removed from the cabin, they can actually be connected and sort of interlocked. 
to create a nice setting. I can't decide if I'm going to display this in the campground like that there, or if I'm going to have them placed on either side of the cabin. Around back here, there is a chimney that lines up perfectly with the wood-burning stove within. I think some toilet paper beside a shovel, that would make sense. Also a shower with a bar of soap there, a gas canister with the octan colors, that's red and green, a couple fuel gauges there, and also a fuel tank. Just like the front of the cabin, we got a nice combination of smooth tile finish and also jumpers. And I think that nougat color contrasts really well with the reddish brown roof. The roof panels are absolutely brilliant. There's actually nothing holding them in spot. They're just sitting there loosely and the construction of them was super satisfying. However, I have ran into an issue. Mine are not perfectly aligned like depicted on the box and instructions. And I'm actually not the only reviewer that has ran into that problem. I would say though, if you do plan on moving this thing around to remove these because you don't want them to go smash, right? But yeah, you can see the construction of them there. Once again, a brilliant combination of tiles and studs, those green windows, and those printed one by three wood panels, and then the interior. And when you remove both of them, it reveals all of the brilliant interior details. The top floor can be removed as well. You can actually use this beam right here as a handle. And I really like the connection point for the chimney. Check it out. Boom. That's awesome. Right here, there's a nice little cabinet that has some vinyl records popping out there. And also a record player up top. Some gems on the left and also the right side of that. As you can see, there's a piece of amethyst right there beside that acoustic guitar that's mounted to the wall. And a couple nice chairs here that actually use the standard chair elements and they are improved with brackets. Some armrests were added to the chairs, a magnifying glass and a piece of newspaper that's actually underneath that chair there. I like the chairs, but the positioning of them is sort of weird because it blocks access to the staircase. Two unique print pieces by the door. We've got the medieval blacksmith print piece above and then the vintage truck Lego print piece below. Beside the door, an umbrella stand on the table. There is a teapot and a cup of tea, a typewriter, a little cabinet there with a nice lamp. And then you'll probably recognize this printed newspaper element from a modular building. It's from the police station. A really well detailed kitchen as well. There's some milk by the sink there. Look at the faucet. It's actually like a gun. And then a frying pan. Some wood beside the wood burning stove there. A crate full of items. A fire extinguisher beside the butcher knife. And I really like the oven range. It's built using a car spoiler. There are so many little details in this build, it's awesome. Even a piece of trash on the uh, stairs there. Over here, there is a candle that's lit, a candle that's ready to be burned, I guess, a clock, and also what I believe to be a thermostat. Taking a look at the second floor details, we've got a really nice bed, and there's actually a nut that was brought in by the squirrel underneath the bed there by that coffee mug. A nice looking camera, some side tables in sand green, a compass. And then above the bed, there's a printed two by three tile. And that's actually a shout out to the fan designer who actually built a Lego model that looked just like that there. On this side of the bed, we have another candle, a map, a reference to the Lego Ideas treehouse right there, a little miniature model of it, and then a bookshelf. The set comes with two instruction manuals so it can be built as a team. I really like the cover artwork as the cabin during the day and cabin during the night. And of course, you can learn about A-frame cabins within the first few pages there. You can also meet the original fan designer and you can check out their oversized Lego pieces. So there we go, the A-frame cabin reviewed. What do you think? I think it's a pretty awesome set. It's a lot of good things going on for it, that's for sure. Really happy to have one. I can't wait to integrate it into the campground. You're gonna see that in a video coming out in the very near future. In fact, there's gonna be some really big Lego City changes coming up here that were sparked by the concept of having to integrate this awesome Lego idea set. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. Remember, like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.